All right, Edwin Anthony here for Resolution Design. It's been a while. We're entering 2024, and this is an updated video on those of you who are very frustrated on your products not showing up on your website. And without further ado, let's just get straight to it. Again, my name is Edwin Anthony, owner of Resolution Design, one of the top Shopify agencies here. I made a video of this a lot a long time ago, probably like seven months. And this is just an update with the latest Shopify. So let's get right to it. Those who are new, please demolish that subscribe, pound that like button. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about this video. All right. Right here, I want to say shout outs to Love You Candle Co. Uh, they have a website which I could go ahead and show you some examples. Right here, we have several collections. We have the classic collection as well as uh, luxury candles. We're trying to keep things simple, we're not trying to overcomplicate things. And so the first thing I'm going to tell you is let's go to the back end of Shopify. Let's go to the admin, which should look something like this. Pretty familiar to you guys. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in so that you guys could see what I'm working with. All right. I'm going to make sure that's not in the way. Okay. So very minor checklist. And what I'm about to tell you right now could instantly solve your problem right away. Okay. But later on in this video, we're going to dive deeper into more technical issues. First of all, if we go to the admin and we click on where it says products, I need a few things for you to check out, please. Make sure that this product that is missing from the front end of your store has the following status. It needs to say active. The reason for that is because if for whatever reason, this thing is set up to draft, like how you see right here, it's not gonna show up on the website. So first go ahead into your website, check to see whichever product that's not showing up on your website has this green pill called active in the store. Number two, inventory. Make sure that you have positive inventory. Anytime you create a new Shopify store and you add a new product for the first time, for some crazy reason, Shopify always adds this policy where it counts your inventory and by default, it sets it at zero. This is not your fault. All you have to do to fix this is go inside of the product itself Let's go into the policy aspect of this whole thing. Okay, and we have, let's see here, track quantity enabled. This right here is enabled by default. So you have to ask yourself this question. Um, are you tracking quantity or are you doing like drop shipping or something like that? Or do you have infinite amount? It doesn't matter. You don't want to track quantity. Make sure that you check this off or put some positive inventory in it positive inventory. Where do we manage our inventory here? So let's go. We have this continue selling when it's out of stock. We have the weight, the variant. Hold on. Let's fast forward. Right. In this particular instance for this client, they have more than one location. You might not have that case. You might just have just one location. But if you have something where it's multiple locations, all you have to do is just update the quantity right here where it says, um, adjust available, adjust by new one, and then put your reason towards why, right? But it should be somewhere here where it should show you how many you should have in inventory. And Shopify has this ability where, you know, you could have multiple locations such as a warehouse or something. And you could say, we have three over here and we have two over there. But if it's all at zero and you have track quantity enabled, it's, it might not show up on the website for that reason. So a quick fix could be just to uncheck this, just take this ticker off and press save, and then go ahead and look at the front of the store to see if it shows up. If you've done this and it's active, there might be another issue. So just very quickly go to where it says, if you guys are using Chrome, go right here where it says the three dots and then right here, go to where it says clear browsing data and then go ahead and free up your cache. Um, your caching caching is like, it just saves the most recent state of the website and it might, you know, just be showing you an old version of the website. So make sure that you clear your caching. And then once you do that, get out of here and then go over here where it says admin and on the admin launch the new version or the fresh new look of the website. And then go right here towards the collection that you want it to appear. And it might show up, right? Because it might have shown you the historical version. And the reason why websites cache where they do this is so that the website could load very quickly. So by clearing your caching on your browser and then opening up a fresh browser of the collection, you might see the product show up there. Okay. So that part's very important. Next up, another possibility why your products are not showing up, even if you have it active, even if 
inventory is not tracked or if you have a positive inventory. If you are that person, you know, you want to throw me in the comments, go right ahead. Just say, Edwin, at this minute mark, I got lost right here. And then I'll know exactly what you're talking about. But go to the collection itself. So in this case right here, this product called Campfire's Marshmallow Soy Candle, I'm going to go inside here and look at its properties. Let's go right here where it says collections. I could see that this specific candle is showing up, in fact, in a collection called All Candles, which is all the candles, right? Uh, it's also showing up in the Fall Collection and the Bakery Scent Candles Collection. Let's cross-check that real quick. If I go back into the website, according to my main menu, do I have those collections here? Well, I have All Candles. Then I have some collection called Classic and then Luxury Candles. Does that appear here? Classic and Luxury? None, right? So I know that this candle is not going to show up in these two, but it's going to show on all candles, right? It's going to show up here. And if we cross-reference that, this one's called Campfires and Marshmallow, right? Campfires and Marshmallows. Where are you? This is not even in alphabetical order. Anywho, it should show up here. Let's, um, let's just do this because we're already on this. You can fast-forward if you want this. There we go. Marshmallows, and there it is. Pagination. I don't like pagination. Anyways, so it's there. So we know that it's part of all candles. But if we go to the next menu, we have floral, all of this stuff, right? Is that all of that stuff here? I'm looking for fall collection or bakery scent candles. Here, bakery. So if I click on bakery, it's going to show here. Here it is. There it is once again, okay? So if your product is not showing up for a collection that you intended to, for example... In this case, we wanted to make sure that it's in the classic collection. You're like, where is it? All you have to do is go inside the properties, look in collection, and see if that collection exists there. If it doesn't, then go ahead and add it. So you could go ahead right here to where it says collections, or just follow me to the next step so that we could do this uh, uh, more co um, cohesively. Uh, this right here, you might have what's called an automatic collection or a manual collection. Very quickly, what are these two things? If we go to where it says collections, you'll notice that on collections, you have products with condi uh, conditions. So we have product tags equal to so-and-so, and then we have those that are just blanks. The ones that are blanks are manual collections. Those are collections that you have to physically, literally grab, drag, drop, and place it there. Let's look at it. Click inside this, and you'll notice all of these uh, products that are showing up here. So if I click on either browse or just search for products, let's click on browse. Go ahead and look for that and manually check that on and make sure that the product lives inside of this collection. Okay. And then once you do that, you could go ahead and manipulate what comes first, second, third, fourth by clicking where it says manual, right? Or yours might be set to best selling by default. So click where it says manual so that you could get these freckles on the left and then move yours all the way up until it shows up. Once you do that, this should save automatically, but if it doesn't, you might see a save button. Shopify changes all the time. All you have to do to confirm that the product is showing on the collection is click on this button where it says view. You click on view and it opens up a new tab and here is the collection. Make sure that the product shows up there. But if you're saying, hey Edwin, look, I did that. Uh, I added the product into the collection manually or by automatic collection, doesn't matter and I clicked on view inside of the collection, right? Which is this button right here. I clicked on view, this page, I see it. But I don't see it when I go into the website normally, right? If I go like this and I go like that, it doesn't show up here, but it shows up here. Why? Pay attention to the URL handle of this collection. This collection is called collections forward slash our newest arrivals. If you have our newest arrivals coming out here and you click on it, pay attention to the slug. That's what this is called, the slug. Does this slug match the other slug? If not, then you have a main menu problem. This happens when you create multiple collections with the same name but different handles at the end. And the way that you'll know the handle, obviously, is by clicking view and seeing the handle that you have here and matching it like how I showed you earlier. Also, another way for you to see the handle is go back to the collection right over here, scroll all the way down and where it says search engine listing, what you wanna do is click on where it says edit. 
click on edit, scroll all the way down, and there it is. That's what will tell you the handle is. So if you realize that by doing the normal way of navigation, you click in here and you go into that collection that you want that product to come out on, it's not the same handle as what we were before, then what you might wanna do is go to the main menu configuration and fix that. Make sure that it has the right handle. By doing so, you go to where it says online store, click where it says navigation. And on navigation, you have to find that main menu system. In our case, it's main menu. We structurize it this way. So we click on main menus and we have several nesting, right? We're gonna click on or expand shop candles. And we want to question this one, for example. So let's click right here where it says edit, okay? Is it pointing to the collection for which we want to, right? In this case, the classic collection is linked to this collection. If it's wrong, then go right here, right? Click on where it says collection and find that right collection. Find the exact collection name because if you have it incorrectly, then that's why things are not working. So make sure that your collection is properly configured to the menu so that you're displaying the correct collection for it to come out here, okay? So to summarize everything, one of the main key reasons as to why your products are not showing up could be because the status is not active, it could be because you have zero stock or you're tracking inventory with zero stock, it could be because you are tracking inventory or, you know, you're tracking inventory and you just have no inventory set up, so you need to add one. You just, just add one as inventory and it'll show up right? It might be a caching issue. It might be a collection issue, right? Where you, where, you know, the product is not in the right collection or your main menu is pointing to the wrong collection. That's it. In my last video, I started yapping, blah, 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 man, forget all that. I'm trying to get you some answers. I hope that this video helped you guys out a lot. I'm trying my best in order to create a lot of tutorials as best as I can. For those of you who's watched this video, the first 40, 50 of you, because every time I post a video, you guys are the first ones to watch. Thank you very much. You guys are my true followers. For those of you who discovered my channel for the first time, welcome. I hope you guys get to see other videos that I post out. So that's why I encourage you guys to go ahead and subscribe, like, and turn on that notification bell. If you guys are part of some Facebook group or something like that that talks about Shopify and this helped a lot, share it. Because there's a lot of Facebook groups where there's people that get stuck on this. I can't, I can't do this. Go ahead and share this. Share this so that they could see the answers. I'm cutting straight to the point. I'm trying to get rid of all that fat stuff and just get straight to the point. And as always, I want to hear from you. I want to hear what you want to learn. Did you like how I taught you? Let me know what other things you want to learn about so I could just put it to you in plain English. And I'll see you next time. Take care.